did you mean, when you called taser, 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 did you mean to pull out your taser or your pistol? I'm sorry, you're going to have to contact the police media branch. Excuse me. Sorry, sorry. I think that what happened was a, was a tragic mistake. Um, and it wouldn't have happened had the police not been carrying guns and not been trained to use guns, I believe, as a first resort, not as a last resort. What's important to us is, is that Adam's life was taken um, unexpectedly and tragically and unnecessarily. And um, Adam was a, uh, a wonderful man who had a great future and um, and we miss him. The thing was that the officer that killed Adam had a taser on her and before she took it out of the actual where she booked it out she tested it three times so she knew that it, had, it would work. So when we found that out we couldn't understand why she entered the room yelling taser, taser, taser and had a gun. It was a tragic mistake. So the thing is with people with mental issues, they're in a kind of a, a world where they're not really aware of other people. He was self-harming, he was no threat to anyone else. And I think the whole point was that we should have mental police, um, you know, uh, trained officers who understand and would not ever draw a gun on someone who's mentally stressed. The coroner at Adam Salter's inquest concluded that at best the police intervention was an utter failure. Police killed the person they were supposed to be helping. Questions are now being asked about the ability of the New South Wales police force to investigate its officers rigorously and impartially. And there are calls for investigations of police shootings to be taken out of the hands of the police altogether, as happens in some other countries. Examples from overseas reveal that non-police are perfectly capable of doing very adequate investigations of deaths in custody. The Police Ombudsman of Northern Ireland um, is a, a civilian organisation that investigates deaths in custody and they pride themselves on getting out there within the golden hour and collecting all of that evidence um, straight away. And they do so with the um, faith of the community. Um, the community have much higher faith in these independent investigations than the police conducting their own investigation.